Whether viewed from the air, Artists Point or the floor of the canyon, Yosemite is an inspirational place. The National Parks of America describe it as not just a great valley, but a shrine to human foresight, the strength of granite, the power of glaciers, the persistence of life, and the tranquility of the high Sierras. The 3,000 square kilometre park hosts granite monoliths, cascading waterfalls, vast meadows, deep valleys and giant sequoias, Yosemite Valley being just one-tenth of the park's entire area. High in the Sierra Nevada mountains, the first snow had fallen when I visited, given that it was over 3,000 metres high in mid-November, a perfect treat. Descending 2,000 metres into Yosemite Valley brings a distinct change in climate, a warm microcosm. This allows the meadows on the valley floor to flourish as a home for diverse plant and animal life. Bears, deer and the black oak trees is what drew the first people to this place, it was a place where all could flourish. And then right on cue, a coyote wanders past. The Miwok Indians, who called themselves Awanichi, lived in the valley for thousands of years. Controlled burns in the valley managed the undergrowth, encouraged the growth of the black oak trees supporting their lifestyle, which relied on the acorns and flour made from them. The Merced River flows through the valley floor, sourced by snow and the falls which cascade over the valley walls. At high thaw times, the valley has flooded, and the bridge in the meadows has been as much as five feet under water. From Tunnel View, the Bridal Vale Falls are a gorgeous sight, while in the valley it is the Yosemite Falls that are eye-catching. The swift flowing Yosemite Creek drops a total of 739 metres to the valley floor. The upper falls are among the 20 tallest in the world, Water flows from them over the five middle cascades to feed the final 98 metre drop of the lower falls. El Capitan, the massive granite rock face once thought unclimbable, stands as sentinel, its name derived from the Indian for chief. It is a standard for high climbing. At almost any time it is possible to find people scaling the 3,000 metre high face while for most, the climb will take days. The current speed record is 2 hours, 23 minutes and 46 seconds. Some 50 people have died while climbing in the park. Named for its distinctive shape, Half Dome rises 1,444 metres from the valley floor. Accessible due to a cable and steps, some 50,000 people climb it each year to gain a stunning view of the surrounding landscape. Lightning strikes are a real danger when on top. The 4 million visitors annually owe a huge debt to the foresight of Galen Clark, Abraham Lincoln, John Muir and Teddy Roosevelt for establishing this absolute national treasure.